So in this segment, we're going to talk briefly about the standard electrosurgery devices compared to our alternative, often called advanced vessel sealing devices. So the standard electrosurgery device such as this Gima 160 uh, is a very affordable way to improve the efficiency of your surgery, particularly uh, standard open surgeries, uh, skin surgery, uh, bigger uh, uh, mass removals, also fine surgeries, uh, for example, the thyroidectomy uh, and so on. It's a very accessible way to get started. Uh, what this machine does, particularly in the bipolar mode, is it's delivering current according to uh, you activating the machine. Uh, and there's no measurement of the uh, power or the effect of that current on the tissues. Uh, and for most surgery, that's absolutely fine. Uh, and it relies on you observing the effect. And if you have excessive uh, blackening of the tissue, you are applying too much power, so you need to reduce the level. And if you uh, don't have enough effects, so you need to increase the power or check that your connections are working. It is much less satisfactory for certain procedures uh, and perhaps the best example is uh, during laparoscopy, particularly laparoscopic ovariectomy, where we are relying on a machine to coagulate the tissue to seal the vessels, uh, particularly in the ovarian pedicle. And then we're relying on the machine to transect the tissues. Uh, now you can do that with standard bipolar instruments, uh, uh, particularly the uh, hot blade or similar devices, the power blade. Uh, but there is no feedback provided. The machine delivers what you tell it to do and you observe the effect, uh, but there's no feedback, which is a little less satisfactory. So much preferred for those procedures instead of the standard electrosurgery machine would be advanced vessel sealing device. Uh, and there are a number on the market. So one is the vet seal, uh, the vet seal, and the other, uh, the vet seal, and some of the others provide a feedback. So the control box is monitoring the change in the tissue during uh, uh, passage of the current. It's looking for desiccation of the tissue and an increased resistance. Uh, and when it has achieved uh, a, uh, a adequate desiccation and increasing resistance in the tissue. It makes a noise to tell you that the procedure is complete as far as vessel sealing is concerned, and then you can use the cutting effect to divide the tissue. The advantage of the vet seal is it has a uh, reusable uh, autoclavable handpiece, uh, which is uh, economic for multiple uses in veterinary species. Uh, an alternative is the triad, uh, which is also a form of electrosurgery. Uh, uh, that again, the current between the tips is constantly monitored during activation and the machine makes a noise, what I call the happy noise, when it's completed the procedure. Uh, the disadvantage of the triad is that a, the hand pieces are considered to be disposable and uh, they're intended for one-time use. Uh, and they cannot be processed through the autoclave. So uh, it is not uncommon in veterinary surgery to reuse them, uh, but they have to be sterilized uh, by chemical means, usually ethylene oxide. Uh, and another type of device is the harmonic scalpel, such as the N-seal. Uh, this, instead of using electrical current, uses a uh, uh, ultrasonic uh, energy. Uh, so a vibrating tip, essentially, uh, to both uh, coagulate and to cut the tissue. Uh, again, the disadvantage of the end seal compared to, for example, the bed seal, is that uh, the hand pieces are intended for one-time use. Uh, and they're not intended to be uh, uh, reprocessed, although again, it is common in veterinary surgery to clean and reprocess the hand pieces through a chemical means such as ethylene oxide gas, but that is not 
how they've been designed to be used. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, this uh, series of segments on uh, electrosurgery in small animal practice. Uh, we focused our, and we've used for purposes of demonstration the uh, uh, GEMA 160, uh, uh, which is a very appropriate uh, choice for most people, uh, but I hope I provided you with uh, information uh, uh, that will help you uh, choose what to use and also how to use it. Thank you.